When an accounting transaction occurs, we need some proof of that transaction in order to record it in our accounting system. This ensures that the transaction is real and not someone trying to steal money from the company. This proof also gives us something to compare to so that we can be sure the transaction is entered correctly. Most of the time, this proof comes in the form of some kind of paper or electronic document. We call these documents that prove transactions occur source documents. They are called source documents because these documents become the source for all the information recorded as part of the accounting transaction. Different kinds of transactions have different kinds of source documents, so it is important to familiarize yourself with the different source documents so that you know what kind of transaction you need to record. Invoices are a source document that a business sends to its customers detailing the terms, products, and services of a sale. Invoices are typically used for sales on account, meaning that the customer plans to pay sometime in the future. There's no set format for invoices, so they often come in many shapes and styles. Here are just a few examples of what an invoice might look like. If a customer pays in cash, the business typically provides a source document called a receipt that serves as a record of the receipt of cash from that customer. That's why it's called a receipt. Many people think that a receipt is a source document for money spent since we are used to receiving receipts from stores when we buy something. But this is looking at the document from the customer's perspective. When the store gives you a receipt, it's a courtesy to you and a confirmation of your purchase, but it's really a source document for the store to prove they received cash from you and why. So from the business's perspective, receipts are a source document for cash received, not cash spent. Just remember, that's why they call it a receipt, not a spent. Instead, businesses typically use the checks that they write as source documents for cash purchases. Unlike invoices and receipts, checks have a fairly defined look to them. We will learn more about what checks look like and how to fill them out in a later video. In every business, there is always some transactions that don't have a source document provided. But in order to create a record in the accounting system, every transaction must have a source document. To get around this dilemma, a special source document is created called a memorandum, or memo for short. A memo is a simple document that describes the unique transaction so that there is a record of why the transaction is being recorded into the accounting system. Sometimes they are also signed by someone with authority. Memorandums are rarely used in a formal sense by small businesses, but larger corporations still use memorandums as source documents for those unique transactions that don't have any other source document provided. Although there are many other types of source documents, we will just stick to these four main ones for right now. Remember that invoices are used as source documents for sales on account, receipts are used for cash received, typically from customers, checks are used for cash purchases, and memorandums, or memos, are used for transactions that don't otherwise have a source document. To learn more about source documents and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.